Hello everybody, this is a Lewis Twitch video and today I've got a, a request from somebody I'm not going to mention the name but it was um, one of my friends, the Reptile Ollie I'm going to say, Repti Ollie I think his name is and um, he wants to do a boa um, care sheet basically so a boa constrictor care sheet or how to care for a boa constrictor and I thought I might as well, it's pretty pretty simple um, it's extremely basic. You've got many different setups. You've got the basic setup or you've got the fancy looking setup. So this is the basic setup. It does everything which a boa needs but it just doesn't look particularly pleasing to the eye but still it looks after them. And as you can see... So there you go. Very healthy boa there. Okay, so basically what you need um, is you need a heat mat. Extremely necessary for boa constrictors, okay? Heat mat provides obviously the heat for a, a tropical environment. It needs to be around 25, 26, 27 degrees Celsius. That's ranging around 80 to 85 Fahrenheit around there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm just going um, by what I've got on my thermostats, which you can see over there. Okay, as you can see, that one's on heat, it's got the green light. You're going to need a heat mat linked to a thermostat. Now you're going to need to wire the thermostat into the heat mat and that's how you can control the amount of heat provided by the heat mat depending on your room temperature or the season. Okay, so we've got the heat mat sorted out. Okay, let me zoom out. My voice is going to be muffled. My voice is going to be muffled when I zoom out, by the way, because this is what the camera does. I am filming with my... Sony shot cyber shot camera. So, okay, let me just. Get... Um, yeah, he does. He's in a feeding response at the moment because it's a bit. It's starting. It's a bit dusk out. It's dusk outside at the moment, like dusk. But you can see him. Okay. So yeah, and then we need the water bowl, which is right there. They need to provide water constantly. A for humidity, B for a drink, C for, I don't know, I don't know what C could be for, but basically it's just humidity and drinking so that they can keep hydrated and nice and moist because you need the humidity quite high for boa constrictors because they do live in the tropics of South America I think it is. Um, yeah, and then you need substrate. My substrate is obviously as you can see, newspaper. Okay. Now, there are many different types of substrates. They all have their disadvantage and their advantage. Newspaper advantage is that it does not get mould. Mould does not occur. You don't have to change it. It's easy cleaning, sorry. You know, the only time you need to change it is when they either, uh, when they either urinate or they poo. Yeah, and that's when you really need to clean it up. And it's very easy cleaning, especially if they poo directly on the newspaper. You take them out, you take the bowl out, you scrunch it up into the bowl with the poo, chuck it in the bin, put new paper down, put a bowl down again, you're done. That's all you need to do. Now you have other bedding like Aspen. Now uh, you can probably see down there maybe, there you go, look, Frida, she has Aspen because she's um, she's got the premium basically, she's got the proper substrate and a nice enclosure compared to these other three because she's little but when she does get bigger she'll be put into one of these and she will have newspaper so but Aspen is easier, that's probably the second easiest thing. It's dry, do not spray it directly. That can gain mould, you want to keep Aspen dry. Remember that, Aspen is as dry wood shavings. Remember, dry. Do not spray on it directly, only water the bowl. That will keep the humidity perfectly fine. I mean, my king snake is perfectly fine, she's fine. Yeah, and she lives in California, so she, you know, needs quite high uh, heat and humidity. Okay, let me just zoom in. We've kind of gone out of focus with our python. There we go. Look at that. That's great. Okay, so we've basically gone through it all now. Um, feeding wise, ah, right. Depending on their girth. Now, the girth is the largest part on the snake. Their food item needs to be 1.5 times that girth. 
the width of the food needs to be that. So the width of the food needs to be, or the girth of the food needs to be 1.5 times the girth of the snake. Okay? Girth is the largest part on the food and snake. Okay? So remember that. That's all you need to know. Um, just on the safe side, feed them something a little bit smaller than usual. I mean, I feed my boa um, adult mice when he could eat rat wieners, but I just don't, you know? Just making sure, double checking, you never know. I just do that, it's just something I do. You don't have to do what I do, but I do that. And when he does get a little bit more bigger, then I'll be able to do other things. Um, okay, so I think we've gone through everything. Um, it's coming up to around the six minute mark of this video. Um, I can't really say anything else. Um, let me think. So we've gone through heat, humidity, substrate, feeding, their size. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, ways of sexing these, I'll have to go through after I've said this. So first, the size. Okay, males can gain around, I think it's six to eight, possibly nine feet. Females tend to go around seven to eight nine possibly ten feet okay these are the red tail boa constrictors there are rainbow boa constrictors they're completely different to this kind there are co common boa constrictors which i think are basically the same as red tail but i'm not sure okay so ziggy here is posing perfectly for this whole video which is really good um, i hope he doesn't knock his head down but i think he's waiting for a food item as you can see he keeps splaying out his tongue, giving it a waggle, trying to pick up a scent of any mice in the area. When he picks up that scent, because he's got a forked tongue, one, there are two different receptors, you know, the strongest receptor of the um, mice or the mouse scent, he will follow that direction. So it's basically a right or left, you know, which is the strongest scent, he'll know where it is and he'll be able to track it down. So there you go, that's why they have forked tongues, I just thought I'd tell you that. Um, veering off the point a bit, but okay. So I've just gone over seven minutes, and we're going to talk about sexing now for these guys. You can count the number of like scales on their tail. Now, obviously, you can see the tail at the end there, but there is a tail on these guys. Some people say that snakes are just a long tail when they're like they do have tails. Um, yeah, boa constrictors do have quite a large tail compared to uh, ball pythons. Um, yeah, it's quite a difference. Um, yeah, basically, the shorter the tail, the it's usually a male. The longer the tail, the female. This is not the best way. I repeat, this is not the best way. It cannot be 100% reliable. The only way you can do it properly is by popping them, and I can't do that. Or you can probe them, which I don't want to do either. So I'm saying he's about 75%. This guy is a male. Ziggy is a male, I'm about 80% sure that he is a male, okay? So there we go. We'll find out when he's full grown, we'll see his size, but apart from that, you know, he does it like a boy anyway, doesn't he? I mean, really. I don't know if it's going to blur now. Yeah, it's going to blur. There you go. There you go. So this is my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this is pretty simple. You basically have to follow this rule for caring for every python. So please don't give me any more requests for doing a care sheet video on pythons because it's basically exactly the same as a boa constrictor. Just maybe the humidity and temp may vary slightly, but apart from that, it's basically the same. I mean, as you can see, the dog bowl newspaper, dog bowl newspaper, you know, it's all the same really. So. On that note, and Ziggy made a nice little noise then. On that note, I'll be seeing you guys later, okay? Rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Reptioli, I hope you enjoyed this video I gave you on the care sheet and how to care for a bow constrictor. And I'll see you guys in another vid. Bye. Oh, by the way, I will not be posting any more video videos up in about two weeks because I'm going to be on holiday, okay? So I'll see you guys later.